Okay. We gotta get lead. Kill them all! Kill the fucking foresters! Take down the gate! We can't fight that many! We're doomed! If they breach the gate, we're done for! We can't fight the entire White Hill army! Say something inspiring. Before we all die, because I... Your wound. Get them to safety. Of course not. I won't abandon you, not again. Please. I, I wanted Order. to wait for a better moment. Alright, see about killing them quickly. Basha! Our lord is here! Rally to your lord! He's here! My lord, your command! Uh... We have to retake the gate! We have to retake the gate! If we don't defend the gate, the small folk die anyways. Maybe. Probably. This is the war you promised, Mr. Rossi! It's not over yet! To Asha! Alright, now can we get lead? No, not yet. Did you just slap him with a sword? Oop, almost missed that one. They're gonna burn the place down, aren't they? Deep bags. Oh! Right. Oh good, I get another chance. Let's try blocking the arrows this time, maybe. Crazy, but just might work. Grab the shield and up. Wait too long. Asher Forrester. You've come a long way to die. Uh, I saw a prompt there for a second. I think I was just looking at my joystick and just happened to hit it. Alright, stab him now. Don't give him a chance. Have broken that. Let's see you live up to your reputation. I'm being careful with the sword. Wait, no, that's me, not him. Rally to your lord. Well, we missed. Oh. Stab him in the bloody face. Or you know, move. Been hit a few too many times, I think. Uh, give me a button prompt. Here we go. Could somebody stab this guy, please? Let go of my son! Thank you. Oh.
Oh. I messed up that first hit. And I think the house falls. We're out of lords. Sure, screw things up. He's not gonna last much longer. And the gates are down. It kind of all hinged up. On just that one more of killing him soon enough. Okay. Is this a final noble battle? Do we get a chance to kill Lud? Be lovely. I actually hit my mark on that one. Oh, come on, you can... Kill him before you die. Just... Throw it. Give me a prompt. Give me a. My lord, we have to get you out of here. I'll be damned if I let another lord die on my watch. You can't run. You must survive, Asher. For the house, for all of us at fought this day. Well, bungled that one up. And Mira burnt the bridge with uh, the D bag merchant. Well, everything else has gone to hell. Maybe... Just maybe we can somehow... Have something approaching a happy ending? You know, as far as you can go with... Ah, oh, she's not happy. Having just cut out my friend's heart and... Given it to a what blood sacrifice. What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Uh, do I actually have an aiming point? There we go. So, is she in fact angry about the blood magic? Perhaps she's too busy being sad right now to 
really show it. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how's forced or fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. Yep, it is. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. Oh, gosh. I don't... I'm assuming every... Maybe it's not all... Maybe it's not chronological. Maybe if I march south now... It will have been, in fact, a while before and can somehow save the day? Uh... He doesn't know anyway. He's reciting from his point of view. What is that for, Forrester? needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. In the name of the king, I hereby sentence you to death. Oh boy. Is there any any way that this can end up not terrible? Can I talk to people? Oh, I've got one friendly face in the crowd. I suppose that's better than nothing. I mean, she's not powerful enough to do anything about it, but... Bring forth the next prisoner! That'd be me? Hi. Can I see that? What does it say? Can I look? Just give me a look? No. This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer. Kill well, you're a douchebag. I disgrace to her family no! name. I'll spit at him. <laughs> traitor! Well, at least it made me feel better. In the sight of gods and men. And in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Shame! Raven! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame! speak them now. She's innocent! Her! Her! Iron, Iron from ice. Iron from ice! A brave She's innocent! Oh, noble Kill her! Am I trying to sway Deal. the crowd, maybe? I don't know that it really matters. Um, can I not push it? Oh, this is going to be freaking brutal. I don't want to put my head down. I don't want to place my head down. Please. I've lost so many foresters already. Nothing that'll cause a... Final moment. Save. anything that'd be a no we're down to two point of view characters one, just barely.
Asher's still alive. So maybe we show up and actually do some freaking good? Be nice for once. And banning the North Grove, that's Probably not my best uh, thing to be doing. House Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> with some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. Grandmother, that day Cersei dragged her before the throne, she claimed loyalty to me right in front of her. But then she had the audacity to go behind my back and meet with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. And that day she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I'd offended him to Frostfinger, and it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff White Hill beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own blade. But then, he jabbed out that fourthborn's eye. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. Roderick. The saviour who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rather earnest, I suppose. But he had heart, fighting with a former slave by his side. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so... I tested him, and he impressed me. He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, he earned my help and my respect. Loyalty, friendship, respect. Without them, we have nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins, I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I know these foresters. 
If they had any sense, they'd know when to bend the knee and live to see another day. They fought hard, I'll give them that, but they were reckless. Shrewd when they should have been bold. Impetuous to the last. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. Alright, let's see. Elected to Duncan Tuttle, sentinel for his diplomacy, ambushed Lud's family to end the war, butchered Cotter to strengthen Elsair's blood magic, kept our integrity, but lost Marjorie's favor, submitted to Griff for the sake of peace, and cunning strategy. Wonder if the colors actually mean anything. I feel like blue is good and red is bad, but I'm not really that sure on that. Ugh, this is a nasty place. I'm guessing we're in White Hill lands, or perhaps the White Hills wrecked the Forester land on their way in, perhaps? Ah, I wonder if... Oh, he's actually alive. So I kind of feel like this hints at perhaps a Season 2 at some point. Or not. Well, that was a quickly dashed hope. Asha? Or... My lord. Not. Dirty traitor. We don't have much time. Just shank him right now. End it. They may have won this battle, but they will not win this war. Yeah, probably would have won this battle had you not been a dirty traitor. And who- oh! I completely forgot about Ryan and Beshka. So... We have what? We have Ryan, Talia, and Asher left? As far as the Forrester family goes, and the Bastards? And of course, Garrod. Probably could have done better. All right, let's see. We were in the majority on telling Marguerite the truth and being dismissed. Majority on not marrying Morgren. Slightly minority on Butcher and Cotter. Good minority in ambushing White Hill and majority in... Abandoning North Grove. I'm kind of curious how that's going to turn out for us. And that is Game of Thrones. It was really fun, but, oh man, brutal. Just, well, it was Game of Thrones. It was Song of Ice and Fire. People die. A lot. I'm glad they stayed true to that, where nobody's sacred. You know, even before the final episode, they killed, what, two point-of-view characters and, in the end, lost another? Am I overlooking one? Probably. Maybe. But that's one of the things that makes Game of Thrones and Song of Ice and Fire so interesting, is that anybody can die in... Well, then again, as opposed to watching a show or reading a book, the storytelling games, Telltale games, and this general sort of game... Any game, really, but I think this kind of game more so gets you very much into the roles, so it's, uh, it's rough when the family and friends of your point of view characters, or even the point of view characters, die, and really, some of the earlier ones were the worst, because it's, even though I know it's Game of Thrones, I just get attached to the characters and keep expecting them to survive. But that is it for now. We'll be back next week with something new hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like and if you'd like to see what's next for the channel don't forget to subscribe until next time catch you later